Should be starting any minute. And we have them both setting it to 11 o'clock, which is most likely to set it to Thursday, so you can get the contest for defeat Lapras on Friday. Uh, at least that would be the optimal thing. Things. I can't imagine they would do anything else at that time. Yep, looks like it. Now, as far as our card goes here, notably, as I mentioned before, there's Defeat Lapras, meaning they have to set it to Friday eventually to guarantee that goal. Lapras in the Union Cave only. Now we have our starters coming up. We have Nidoran Female, Kingdra, and Chansey. I can't imagine them not going. This gives rival Chansey, meaning that they effectively get a free experience sack, and Kingdra can absolutely be runnable. We should be seeing its moveset in these first encounters, and that'll tell us whether they're sticking with the Kingdra, or whether something else. So he was holding a TM, but it's not one on the card. Drill Peck, look punch, that's... Huh. That is tempting. That is tempting. That is a very good, like, physical coverage, however... First of all, you know, meaning they have bad attack DVs. And second of all, there's no stab or special moves to take advantage of Kingdra's powerful mixed stats. I must say, I would be very tempted to take it, but I would not be surprised to see either of our runners. Drillpeck is one of them in the game. Uh, however, Dynamic Punch is unreliable and Low Kick is low in power. Meaning that it's essentially going to have to rely on Drillpeck pretty heavily, unless. Okay, the DM is not relevant. Other notable goals on this card include Catch Pokemon and Lugia's, which means they're going to have to beat the 6th gym, and defeat a level 40, which means they're either going to have to go after the fixed level or defeat Rising Mad. The fixed level 40 being much more optimal, unless they have to do Rising Mad for something else. We have Paradox sitting here for a while, thinking he looks like he is going to attempt to catch the Gligar. It's possible he was considering hiding the information from Rathla, however... Now that he's seen that Rashla has caught it, there's no real need to do that. Healing him up with present, how nice of it. However, it is not being nice as far as getting And here we have a Scyther. Uh, that's on the card as well. This first route is kind of... Route 30 is kind of loaded. Riding both Onyx Scyther and McGlagar Delibird Sneasel almost immediately. That means that Paradox knows that Scyther is here as well. And let's see if he gets it. Nope, he finds a Tentacruel instead. Also something that can definitely be potentially runnable. Not if he crits it and kills it though. That, that's a little less runnable. There's an escape rope if they really want to go to Sprout Tower. Well, four non-TM damage moves is on the card, so we could see that play early if they... ...due to being effectively the easiest way to get that goal.
We have Ashlo running into the sun. This thing is definitely one of the more common slots, although Paradox hasn't seen it yet. There we go, not critting the Tentacruel this time. And here we have Rathla moving on to the first rival fight. This chance each will give him a definite experience advantage. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's... It has a sleep-inducing move, but that's not on the card this time. This chance will give his a lot of experience, and he... Day. Nice. Nice. That's just a minor input error. And he, it's healing him with present too. That's that's apparently a common theme here. Going for the Dynapack would have killed. Or low kick would have killed. I think that might have been another input error. And here we see that massive experience coming to play along with the black white experience setting of the randomizer to give Kingdra three levels. And it's trying to learn outrage, okay. All right, this this is a runnable Kingra. Wow. Paradox just taking it down with three quick drill pecks, and he is going to get his outrage. This is, I believe, this is the first runnable starter that I've at least seen in the turn. At least see that huge level advantage, especially with a experienced sack rival sort of coming into play. There is also our first evolution, which Rafla is just running away from. I am not sure that two evolutions is on the card, but because there's no real reason to delay getting it, as it doesn't actually mark a goal, meaning that it doesn't give inf any information of Paradox. It's possible that he just like didn't our runners are pretty close here no major <laughs> yeah okay. that works no major time losses anyways with this Run a little main. Are we going to see the Garf strats? We're not seeing it from Rashla. Rashla. I know how to speak names. There's that Vaporeon again. Is he going to skip it? Okay. There we go. Okay. So, Rashla cut catching his first evolution and without giving any information away to Paradox. Oh, Ab definitely a runnable Kingdra. Drill Peck, Low Kick, Outrage is very... So honestly, I would have run it without the Outrage. However, I tend to be exactly picky with my names. It's a very personal thing what people decide is runnable and what isn't. However, given it's just like all around base stats and competence and incredible defensive typing, Kingdra is one of those that is to pass up if it has an acceptable moveset. We have Paradox catching a Porygon as the first normal type. And we have Rasla running into his first normal type, and... Oh, it lived, actually, but it whirlwinded them out anyways. Doesn't even matter. Paradox is... This thing is not paradox. Not at all. Because <laughs> he can't really weaken it. As I'm pretty sure Drill Pick would kill. Yeah, minimum catch rate is not cooperating. It doesn't look like it's cooperating with either of our players right here. Oh yeah, there's the Porygon. Yeah, 
We have Rassler slip it. Switching to the Gligar to weaken it. There we go. This should give him much better off. I'm a little surprised Paradox didn't do the same, but... It's possible he would is just banking on cat trade, which is a fool's, fool's decision, but so be it. Selling the X attack, I'm not sure I would have been with. I probably would have sold the TM unless he already did that. Giving his Kingdra Barry. We have Rasla fighting the first of the phone book trainers. Max phone number and the very first run across with a phone number is the youngster in the game, youngster Joey. If you've played the Gen or if you've played the Gen 2 games, you probably remember and his his top percentage Rattata. But he he Pokemon, easy experience, uh easy way to get a phone number. Useless Sneasel information. You know, how it always works. You find a Pokemon early, and then you find all the uh, information on that goal you could ever desire. Neither of our runners forgetting the youngster's number pretty one up on me. Every time. Every time. And now we have Rasla moving on to 31. We're on good pace here. This is... This definitely has very, very fast... Uh, Wise seed, given the runnable starter and the fact that it's just generally a good thing. We have Paradox Murpur or Centret. That, that poor sweet. Uh, not sure if he just was not up to dealing with minimum catch rate again, or if he just didn't really register the fact that it was normal. But uh, we have Snubble, which is not on the card. Yes, Snubble is not on the card, except in the form of six different normal types. <laughs> Weakening the Gligar again. So far, Paradox is not going for the 4 trainer, which, given the generally already over-leveled Kingdra, is not necessary. And murdering a Snubble with another... This Kingdra is extremely angry. We have Rasla heading into Violet. Ooh, but not before Paradox finds a female Dragonair and runs away from it. Uh, notable in that the Blackthorn City Trail Dragonair, although I've heard that... Whoa, hold up. Uh, that... Porygon have I know I saw Spark Blizzard and it also had a TM. Uh, looks like he's doing a quick box heal, and we have Paradox going up the tower, not needing to buy an escape early. Uh, I wonder if Rasla is going to check that TM or not. And here we see a divergence with Rasla heading directly to the gym while Paradox is still going up spread. I'm not really sure if I'd say that I they explicitly correct play, they're both However, if the level nines is Zapdos, maybe the uh tower experience wouldn't be a bad idea. If he gets hurt and Confusion here. There's there's a problem.
And he went for Drill Peck instead of Outrage to finish it off. Interesting. That could leave him at rip. Oh, well, no, it looks like he got it, because it went for the Ancient Power crit. And we have the Fetal Legendary Pokemon. Generally a pretty easy goal to get, but usually not necessary. Well, easy, it's not the right. He's definitely going to want to heal up after that. <laughs> that was a... Yeah. Meanwhile, Paradox, heading on to the second-to-last trainer of Sprout Tower, hasn't run into any issues so far. And it looks like he won't until possibly Elderly, because that, that's gotta be. Meanwhile, this is the most terrifying flying gym, with a Zapdos and a Dodrio so far. Um... <laughs> okay, well, can't keep it up forever. I mean, Wartortle has wings, it's basically a flying type. Meanwhile, Paradox getting an amulet coin at the top of Sprout Tower, which is extra experience. Er, <laughs> Compared to Rasla. We have... Rasla heading on to Faulkner here. We're going to see how he is when he has a freaking Ho-Oh and a Lugia as his two Pokemon. Okay, that's a Krabby. That's definitely not a Ho-Oh. And there's another setback on uh, on Elder Lee, meaning Paradox is going to be significantly higher level than Rasla will be. That is a Houndoom that appears to be Bugsy's ace, or <laughs> Bugsy, Faulkner's ace. Yeah, we have a Paradox higher level than Rathla before doing the gym. Now we're gonna see Rathla's, or Faulkner's TM. Uh, another fighting type move for our Kindred with two fighting type moves. Eh. Now, one thing to note is that D did have Ancient Power, meaning that was a Rock-type move, which is on the card. That goal doesn't often troll, but when it does, as we saw from Pika's match yesterday, it, it trolls pretty hard. So hopefully they'll keep that in mind if it's available at all. With its low general, like, rate of learning moves. Zapdos is not a of move goal information on. However, it it's basically impossible to tell when it's going to get open. So, so one thing to keep in mind, but not exactly the most reliable source of that. Meanwhile, Rasla proposed that Paradox either did Sprout Tower or really struggled, given that he just marked Defeat Legendary. <laughs> and Paradox just destroying this gym so far. With those extra levels from Sprout Tower, he's definitely doing this a lot faster than Rasla did. We have Rasla fighting the first of the two phone book trainers on Route 32. These both have one Pokemon. Ooh! <gasps> Paradox just taught Magnitude over Drill Peck. Uh, that sucks. Really sucks. Wow. Uh. Huh. He didn't save, so we can't reset. That... That's extremely unfortunate. He does have an Outrage still. Just... 
murder things, but... That's extremely unfortunate. Hopefully that won't come back to bite him too hard. Almost true. It's not me. I've forgotten that one more often than I would like to admit. Looks like we have the black glasses, normal poison barb spot. So that's going to be very helpful as it helps increase the chance that they're not going to have to go to Blackthorn and thus not have to go through Ice Cap. And we'll also tell Paradox where Rasa is. Okay, Parrot looking at the Zapdos, I very much like this play. Especially given the area that it's in. Uh, that means he's essentially probably not going to repel through uh, Ilex Forest. And given the low level of encounters of Ilex Forest, that greatly that basically means it has to have Ancient Power unless it's a water encounter. I was finding calcium, which is a lot of money. Those vitamins selling for 4,900 each. Uh, first random TM, which is TM 47. Uh, not quite checking what that is yet, but also not refreshing his repel. I usually try to check the TM at the same time I do that. Also is not interested. It very slow past the, the Pokemaniac rotator. You can get past that in one fell swoop, but if you're not confident in it, then it's definitely an easy one to hit if you're not either careful or confident. We have Rasla fighting Hiker Anthony here. Technically one of the less optimal, but often has information to up his sleeve. At least in my experience. Those are two things that can be on the card but aren't. Or at least one thing that evolves and something that can be on the card. And here we have Paradox picking up his black glasses, meaning he knows Rasla pick, where Rasla picked those up. To really tell where these were in in comparison to each other, due to the fact that uh, Paradox did Sprout Tower and Rasla didn't. However, Rasla also has the benefit of having Drill Pack, which Paradox accidentally took. Not over. And there's the fast path for. And we have Paradox hitting Fire Breather Bill with the Yoshi strats. It, it looked unintentional, but I'll give him the benefit of the bat. And that, that's Dragonite. The, ba the benefit of the doubt. So Yoshi strats are currently. 
one for three, I think? One for three. I did it in my race, which I won, and I believe that's the only time it's won. However, who knows? Maybe Paradox wants to, to even the odds, make it two for two. Or maybe he just hit the pistol. The world may never know until the interview. Well, I was memeing about Fire Breather Bill on the head and moved on to Slowpoke Well. Not teaching over Drill Pack for Magnitude, but teaching over Dynamic Punch. And there we have the Fast Pass from Paradox, at least to the way back. Where's Temporal? Because the Glorious Ice Bird has been spotted. And it has Stab Aurora Beam. There's Slowpoke, which is very good information for the Polyrock Slowking goal. Assuming it's somewhere accessible anyways. <laughs> Paradox moving away before realizing, oh wait, we need to talk to him to get the number. Not having drill peck does a whole lot for. Uh, is a bit of a problem for Paradox as far as not having a really easily spammable strong move. Outrage is powerful, but the confusion effect and the fact that you're locked into it means that if they send out a Pokemon that's really bad to be outraging, you can effectively do nothing against it. Oh, and there's also the fact that there's, you know, the whole coverage thing of flying, which as we see with Rasla murdering the heck out of a poor Heracross. That thing's dead. Not having drill pack means that Paradox is going to have to rely a lot more on when the opponent has a steel type that, okay. Theoretically, when the opponent has a steel type in the back is bad. However, Paradox is just apparently going to crit them all. That works. I'm not one to complain. We have Rasla going right, or right twin, at least. The way the twins work essentially means that twins have different uh, encounter sets. We have Paradox idling, or his dream is frozen. Not sure what else to freaking drop. I mean, Paradox is, is a jump up if info is not relevant. Uh, tend to hit spinners too often.
Fair enough. Paradox does have a thing about hitting Romans bizarrely often. It is... Yeah, Jump Luff is effectively not relevant. Skip Loom is on the card, but Breed Strats are a joke. I'm aware. There is nothing I can do about that. It is just Discord. Or rather, my internet connection. This is why I like having a co-commentator, so that when my mic is on the fritz, then it's not just silence for you guys. However, we do not have anyone right now. Yeah, because Skype is significantly better instead of the opposite of that. I know, I know. Not like blaming you for it. Skype is, uh, yeah. Skype is special. And it look, looks like Rasla went right twin left trainer while para twin right trainer, and none of them gave any information. Because that would be helpful. And we can't have that now, can we? The Kingdra was the starter. They, they're both running it. And Rival had Chansey, so it was the over leveled. Started with Drill Pack and learned out Ray Magnitude at 15. Unfortunately, Paradox accidentally taught over Drill Pack for Magnitude, which is really unfortunate for him, but. Exactly. This game is legally not allowed to be helpful in any way whatsoever. Now we have Paradox facing off against Bugsy, or finishing off Bugsy. Unfortunately, I missed the TM both times. Did have Paris info earlier. I seemed packed and obliterated into the nth dimension. However, I could be wrong about that. There's a slow poke tail for Rosla. That's good exp or good money. Twenty two. Oh, it's seismic toss. Can't all be good moves. Here we have that earth or that outrage. Uh, I don't know. There's a pair of leftovers at the end of the forest. That'll. That's a really king. And we have Rasl leaving, and I don't know. <sighs> we have Rasl taking on the three trainer. We all paired off three on the Zapdos. If he runs into it, then that'll help a lot.
does find a Jolteon, which is an evolution. That's very good. We're also picking up his second pet. First, I don't believe he has a pair of obstetended Pokemon to use for the egg. Meaning he'll have to go get the 100s from the the game corner. <laughs> Russell realizing here's this number. At least he's realizing. We have him fighting another single phone bug. Normally not one you want to fight, but uh, zero money is... That's usually what you go for for zero money, is just suicide yourself on that train. And it looks like Paradox is giving up on the Zapdos. possible he thinks it's a uh, surfing encounter at this point. Uh, no, Zapdos was in Ilex and not 34. He checked it twice. It was lower down than it would be if it was 34. Paradox skipping the three trainer, which, given the amount of available, I respect. Picking up his second egg. Well, we have Russell picking up the bike and <laughs> entering a building I have never seen entered. And talking to a person I have never seen talk to. For picking up his cameo. Now, of note, defeat eight trainers on Route 35 is on the card, and it looks like he's going for that. A lot of experience and a lot of potential information. Fighting the Juggler, which is a phone buck, but is also for Pokemon. I wouldn't go for the because... Oh, well, he gave Skip Loom info, so there's that. However, Hop Up is an easy evolution. Uh, however... Given that there's a random TM on the card, I would probably fight the Bird Keeper rather than the, the Four Trainer, because you have to go down there anyways if you want to check the TM. And we have Paradox immediately checking the Kenya, which is with <laughs> the worst stab it could have. Future Sight.
them both heading into the contest pretty much simultaneously. I think he... I Well, I know he... Ooh, there is a Zapdos. That is very good. And it still has ancient power. And he knows that. So there we go. There, there's his uh, there's his rock type move. Yep. There it also has stab thunder shock. Too good. So he didn't need to forest either. The power of the ancients. Good National Park. Well, there's a TM that can be on the card, but it's not the TM. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was too busy just lunching. There's ghost type info.
What Bika said is basically the optimal if you're wanting to minimize the amount of Pokemon you fight. Alright, we have Rashla heading into Whitney's gym here. As Paradox is finishing up fighting trainers on 35. It's still a very close uh, race here already. Which tends to happen when both people are running a main or just gym. The fisherman won in between the other two fishers, essentially. Well, that is a dead Kingdra. I'm a little surprised Paradox didn't escape rope out of there, but I guess he is trying to save money. Okay, Slowbro is, despite the name, 50-50 gender ratio. So this for uh, the paradox here. However,
mods, please. Actually, I think that's just the restream. This is also a also, I didn't notice, but nice mill tank. I got defeat Lapras. There we go. Does look like Pika pulled a bit or er, <laughs> Pika. <laughs> I read your name in the chat. Does look like Paradox has pulled a bit ahead. Especially if you consider the time taken to do Sprout Tower. Yeah, Pika is always in a race. It's, even if he's not in the race, he's still in the race. to main switch to a level 15 uh, okay I guess It's not as difficult as, it th as you might think, due to the fact that Flash counts.
It's non-TM damaging moves, so Sweet Scent won't work. You have Magmar and Burnt Tower. I'm kind of rando. Well, it looks like Rock type move was free, as I'm pretty sure Whitney's TM was Rock Slide. Placing low kick with Razor Leaf. Paradox is going to do the same. Nope, Paradox is not keeping it. I respect this given that he doesn't have a good physical move because he got rid of Drill Peg. Okay. Well, I know that last one was definitely, uh, definitely Digital Duck. Don't believe it's particularly relevant, though. Yep.
Yeah, this is a very, very close race. Taking into account extra fight Rasla did for the next, uh, the uh, Paradox doing Sprout Tower. It's, it's an extremely close race. This gives Rasla that Jolteon info in case he doesn't find any other evolutions. Synchronize breaking through confusion. And also, I'm not quite sure why the Graveler and Diglett were swapped, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge Morty. Fidal throw, another worst fighting move. There's been a whole lot of that. Also hitting the sailor. This is definitely just a movement error there. However, he doesn't have to fight the last, so this is this is a whole lot of ping ponging back and forth. Here we have Paradox getting his maximum look. The world may never know. The male poker fan is in general the correct trainer to fight. Just as far as movement optimization. Because the female poker fan either requires uh, either going down a ledge, which is slower than just walking a space, or fighting the second trainer. Now, at this point, this might be a bit premature, as I have, as we haven't seen the uh, actual information. We do have information on everything on the card except TM20. We Paris. We've seen a Mister Mist for Ghost type. We've seen a slow king or a slow poke for. Polyrath Floking. Refer for there. And, and yeah, and we've seen both Skiploom and Hopip for Flaffy Skiploom. Let's 
So this is mostly a matter of just want to do it. There's Polyworld information if the Slowpoke information turns out to not be good. And there's Quagsire information. So yeah. Quagsire with snap earthquake information. First to get fly. And it looks like Paradox is checking Quagsires and Ruins of Alf, that's a tough one not a consistent thing hot everywhere uh, 45 mostly <laughs> um, Wooper is 37 that's definitely better than Alf is bad places I th I could swear he s saw the Vaporeon but I could be wrong we have Rasla slide TM and finally getting that goal squared away. Thank you. 
And that essentially almost directly tied them up. Yeah, he has not had good luck with catch it. However, already his executioner you know, through the hedge maze. Pretty much perfect. That is a dig TM. That's... huh. That might be worth teaching to his Gligar as it still has a move remaining, I think. That's... yep. That is definitely a Sunflora. It looks dead. It looks dead. <laughs> That poor thing! Someone forgot to water it! Oh. It was overwatered, apparently. That is a thing. And we have Paradox immediately to the gym here. And f Well, it's not in the card. But it is a good amount of experience. I'm a little surprised he didn't catch the whooper and get the experience share and do this later, but... Uh, not yet, I don't think so. I don't believe anyone has donated for the Sun Curtain run. He also might not have realized that it was a Nido Queen. <laughs> Blastoise getting the ancient power boost on Rossel's side. It got the boost again! It, <laughs> this thing is a monster! It's, that's extremely unlucky. It got the boost twice! And then it crit Paradox! This thing is terrifying! My lord! No, it's spamming Sweet Kiss, critting Drill Peck on Rasta. This thing is a monster. Mirror Move Outrage Crit to. <laughs> this is this is kind of beautiful, actually. It's just destroying them both in completely different ways. <laughs> This thing's terrifying. <laughs> and it flinched him. <laughs> yeah. The, the Blastoise is down on Paradox's side. <laughs> and it, what? What kind of... What? <laughs> okay. Well, that's... <sighs> that's... That's six badges for Paradox. Meanwhile, Rasla is still, still <laughs> struggling through this freaking Blastoise. Was just crit him. Okay, he crit it back. The Blastoise is dead.
<laughs> there we go, I'm also getting his sixth badge. <laughs> That was, uh, that was special. <laughs> that hey, a little bit. It's like it's never fun seeing someone just get like screwed over, but when they're both being screwed over by the exact same thing, that that's that's true beauty. Yeah, uh, is checking his information. This is... Okay, new bark water. That's easy. That's only three encounter slots right there. We have Paradox. Probably looking for the Scyther. Oh, there's a normal type for him. <coughs> Making good progress on that goal. And we have Rasta looking for the... Mischievous. So Paradox has to know that the Onyx Scyther is... Like, th there's no other place he could be. He's probably gonna speak decent for it, yeah. Oh, I didn't bring it up, but actually with six badges, that gave Rasla our first bingo with uh, TLBR. And pair See, this is really weird, because Rasla found a, a ton of Scythos. He found it, like, four both of his times to the throw, but Paradox hasn't found it at all. Oh, okay. There it is. There's the Scyther. And once he catches the Scyther, that is going to put them exactly on even footing. They have exactly the same goals. And that is immediately going to get wrecked by Rasla count catching this mischievous. Or critting it and killing it. And then Paradox destroys it again. I don't believe Paradox has checked where the mischievous is. Well. <laughs> okay, he's checking the Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl will put places. Uh, do you just know he has... Uh, also in... There's... Uh, uh, they're both in Tin Tower. That goal has just... A, not obtainable. Unless... Unless... Unless Paradox breed, unless they breed it, because <laughs> they do have the Slopras. That is that. Uh, this happened. In which case, I might go check the egg now. Honestly, well, this is terrible. All right, Mistress, that is really good for Paradox. Now I have Paradox going for... for the, there's, there's, there's our goddess. There's, there's a Sunkern. Finding nothing but some. Oh, hey. <laughs> the shiny had gear. Rasla finding the Kingdra that Paradox found his first time through. Like, neither of them are finding the Zwooper. I, I love the synchronized searching for the same thing. It's very interesting to watch. Also, it just highlights how freaking close together these runners are. 
as far as progress. Like, Paradox has done Mystic Water and he's done Sprout Tower, but neither of those take particularly long this late in the game. There it is. Ox finding his. Paradox did start looking first, to be fair. Rassler checking to make sure that it And yes it is. Just need to keep looks like he's giving up and going to Burke Tower. Interesting. Well he he could definitely find things here that <laughs> Or he could just find the Wooper first encounter. <laughs> oh. Looks like Paradox found something with a uh, not team damaging music like the Wooper. <laughs> nice. So that gives him that goal that justifies the time spent on S Sprout Tower. And he now has a two goal lead. It also had a yeah, it had sandstorm. You're right. <laughs> well, if Paradox picks up his egg here, huh, where is he going? Oh, he's going to Route 45 for the um the hopping. Okay. Flaffy skip loom, catch a poke in Lugia's room. What else did he be going? See, three, actually wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four. Huh. It was the whooper that had it. What is he going for? Oh, Azumarill Quagsire. Okay. So it looks like he's going flat. He skip loom, Azumarill Poke in Lugia's room. Or possibly. Yeah. We have Rasla think can do here. He is heading to Sprout Tower and Er uh, no. Oh yeah, getting his experience here first. Never did that. Good ice path movement by Paradox, not quite perfect, but works. <laughs> Magmar and Electabuzz in this in uh, ice path. Sorry. Now, unfortunately, 45 is one of arguably the trolliest routes for finding Pokemon due to the fact that it has its seven grass slots very easily accessible. But in order to access the three water slots, you have to uh, pull a lot of maneuvering. Yeah, and I believe we six as well. Hopefully, the uh, Hoppip will just show up. Oh, well, okay. There it is. There we go. 
It looks it's like the Rob just wants to be done at this point. He's been really lucky. Not so much with catch rate, but the encounters have been. <laughs> well, there's not that. He's still looking here. Interesting. Is that. Oh, the Umbreon was here as well, I think. I think he was actually looking for the Umbreon. I don't think he saw that the Hoppip was here, though, to think about it. No? Okay. Might have just been in there. Hmm. Maybe I'm misremembering. Oh! Okay. Alright. It looks like he's going through Claire's gym, doing defeat a level 40. as doing a little Quagsire, uh, Flaffy Skips. Okay. I mean, he has a path. Because he doesn't need uh, Tianton help from at all. Yep. Because he would still have to do Luyu's room, which would be slow. Polyas looking, which he basically has no access to at all times. I mean, this Kinger's good enough to beat the 40. Definitely. And that would be really fast. Yeah, he just got the Quagsire to do double Moltres. Yeah, and immediately got enough of the Wooper. Uh, and then he's probably going to switch the experience share to the Hoppip, get skip. Uh, see, defeat level 40 would be less doable. Uh, Basically, he can defeat a level 40, or he can catch a Pokemon in Lugia's room. Uh, if I were him, I would probably catch a Pokemon in Lugia's room, but he doesn't exactly know, like, if Rasla has stuff lined up. So he might want to just go for the 40 for the much faster finish. Oh, well, there's Scyther. I see. I could swear we saw a Paris earlier. However, they didn't look for it, which makes me think that I might be misremembering, or possibly we're all forgetting. <laughs> nice arrest. But assuming that Paradox can beat the level forty, uh, Paradox would be done the moment he goes and gets his eggs. Okay, so they do have Paris. Oh, well, now they have Venonat. Now, uh, Paradox has Venonat. I'll Venonat, see if it's faster to get than the Vigil. Probably. Go for that instead. And there's the Skip Loom from the experience from this fight. Meaning he has three, essentially, potential location or potential ways to finish. With Defeat Level 40, Venom at Paris, and Catch Pokemon Lugia's Room. Sees the Paris. The Paris is not Paris. There's the Venom at. Okay, that's that's actually pretty easy. That's only six encounter slots, and um, yeah, Paradox is probably gonna go for the Venonat. Get the eggs, fly to Olivine, check the slots. Olivine water isn't as ideal as some other. <laughs> Do Olivine Harbor counting as a separate set of encounter slots, and thus it being a six encounter slot location rather than a three encounter slot of water? Okay. Skip Loom is on 34. And it's right there. And so all Pewdie finish is find this Venonat. Well, okay, or find a Polyrath. 
There we go. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> I mean, sure. Why not? And that is five bingos for Paradox. Row one, row two, call three, call five, and TLBR. <laughs> he already used the level ball on the shiny. Congrats. Did you look did, did you look in the polygraph for Shloki? Wow. Yeah. It was a good race. Understandable. I found a jolt here. There we go. <clears throat> uh, where well, I had also a Vaporeon. I haven't looked for Jolteon yet. Hello? Hello? Oh. That was a close race. Very, very close race. The lead was pretty much constantly switching back and forth. Oh man, yeah, that was close. Like, it, it's like during the actual course of the thing, the lead was constantly switching, but you were both running the king drop, obviously. I figured nice. you could that king drop was good. Yeah, it was really good. Like, I found the Vaporeon, which had also good moves, yeah, but Vaporeon at that moment, Spark I was already... Blizzard. Yeah. Vaporeon was on 29, Vaporeon. by the way. Uh, yep. No Vape Nation for you. So, uh... First things first, uh, before questions, I would like to note that you both got equal Oh yeah, I saw a uh, mirror move. I'm like, well, I can't outrage that thing now. Yeah, that's. Uh, Ra that's Rathalic like got something. two boosts. Yeah, two boosts. You, you just got crit constantly. That thing was a monster. Yeah. It was. So um, let's see. Uh, things to consider. So uh. Did you know that you had Paris information? Or did you just notice it while uh, looking for Vanat? I knew I had it, but uh, I didn't uh, look at it yet. Right. I d did I had Paris info? Uh, you got it on the Climb Sprout Tower. Oh, I, oh on, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. I, I, I wonder if Vanat was here with Polyrath or if that was just lucky. Uh, who knows? It, it, it was either. It was kind of funny. Uh, uh, Paradox was actually in Claire's gym, found Venonat on a trainer. <laughs> Venonat was in all of yeah. water. It left, it went to all of water, and it just ended up working out exactly wow. the same. Yeah, because I didn't uh, trust the Kindred to beat Claire, and I didn't want to go to Lugia's room, because I knew that would take time. Yeah, my well, so, my route at the moment was going for skip loom then defeat the level 40 and then to Lugia's room like i didn't even know that um, i had paris info paris was uh, yeah paris was in union um so paradox uh the the teaching over drill pack accidentally with magnitude yeah so, that was <laughs> an accident i wanted to teach over sunny day but i uh Yep. Got a little overexcited. <laughs> I used Sunny Day uh, once by accident. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that as well. I, I uh, mean, it ended up working, but I, I was, I was about worried. To say, Did I just throw it really the race? It didn't end up impact 
will like course of the race too much like i said it was extremely close um you pretty much took like the you took pretty much the exact same path through the game uh, you were doing pretty much the same stuff in the same order there were some like minor things like a uh, paradox did sprout tower immediately Rasla didn't clean up yeah um, i was thinking like yes. this king drag can do fog may easily so and then i can just <laughs> go to sprout tower easily we yeah. got the free escape rope so i figured i'd do it exactly yeah i was uh, thinking about this yeah right, so um, ah, okay yeah um there okay so um yeah that was just an extremely close and like very interesting like you were both looking for the whooper at the same time uh really? paradox found it right as Rasla left went it first encounter yeah like i couldn't find it on the route <laughs> God, the yeah. entity, so i was like let's go to burn tower and first encounter whoop <laughs> how many uh, sun currents in a row was that though it, it was like five um yeah thing, probably like the luckiest thing was uh, paradox actually found the mischievous first try uh, and I believe Mr. Vist was the 30%. Yeah, I killed it by accident. Yeah, you, you crit it with a Razor Leaf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rasa actually taught Razor Leaf, but the Paradox yeah, I, I taught like Fire Blast. So you both had like a slightly different moveset at the end game, along with Paradox not having Joel Peck. <laughs> yeah, I, I would really rather have Joel Peck than Low Kick. I really yeah. want to mention that the that I didn't check the TMs that good because at some point I noticed Vox lies. Yeah, um, so Paradox actually checked where the Zapdos was. Uh, it was a forest. And I it in then contest. he didn't find it in Ilex. So he went to the contest and caught it in the contest. It still had. There uh, you are. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, the Fortress had also Vox lies. Yeah, the, the shiny had rock slide. That poor, poor Sunflora. <laughs> it looks so dead. Uh, I know this isn't even the first time I've seen shiny Sunflora, but that was my rea exact reaction both times. It, it, someone needed the... See, I think I had a question somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that he also got uh, non-TM through Whooper. Yeah, yeah, he did. Like, I checked the Whoop and I was like, okay. Yeah, that was a tower. saving find. Yeah, that definitely helped because you had no, no other, like, nothing even close, really. No. But yeah, that Whooper. I mean, I believe you still could have done it through... Um, you would still would have had a path through defeat level forty. I would have, um, but I didn't. Want oh, to oh, that was another thing. thing. Um, did you realize that one of the rumors was Nido Queen, and you had Nido Queen info? I mean, you could I did track not. Rumor. No, I'm not that good with cries. Oh wait, what did we decide yeah, we... on metronome for uh, non-damaging? Uh, metronome is a non-damaging. Then skip loom would have worked. <laughs> it only knows okay. vine whip. All right. Yeah, metronome is a status move according to Gen Four and up. All right. And that's our thing. Um, but yeah, the rumors were uh, apparently. And Venonat. Yeah. Um, apparently, Clefairy and Nido Queen, and obviously the uh, Static Sui Kun was Digital Duck P two. I knew that sounded familiar. <laughs> yeah, it's a very very distinctive cry. And the mattering um let's see that was just like a very good clean race like there wasn't really any major luck there wasn't any i mean as far as fights it went very well except for that blastoise which trolled you both equally yeah like um, i was really at that point waiting from like paradox you had the shiny before me um what, when are you getting the sixth badge <laughs> and it's not like, very oh, quickly. That's why you're not getting sixth badge. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, um, but yeah, that 
that was that oh, was I remember really what it was. Cool. Uh was your Kingdra male or female? Female. They were both female. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were both girls. Yeah, that's why I checked the tentacruel early on because I'm like, I don't really yeah. want to run a female because of the you negative don't want to attack. run a female physical, like yeah, yeah. And so, but, but you know, tentacruel learning was outrage, bad and not, sort of. yeah, tentacruel was bad. We learned outrage good enough. Yep, yeah. and then you just let go, and then yeah. magnet eventually surf. Yeah, that that was a very solid Kingdra. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Honestly, that was one of my like favorite matches to watch the entire tournament. It was very like back. Yeah, and I told Russ, my my heart was pounding all throughout yeah. that end game because we were just so close. Like I could yep. tell from the card. Yeah, and was... I didn't know what he had, so. Uh, um, <clears throat> he actually had straight up skip loom information from fighting the Picnicker on thirty four. Uh. uh which is also why he got that uh, goal, uh, the uh, Max Factor. Yeah. But uh, you obviously had the Venonat information late game. I mean, not that it was exactly necessary because Polyrath was there too. <laughs> well, the Venonat information that led you... Yeah. Well, let's just leave it at that. Yeah, but Polyrath looks to be the 60 and the Venonat the 10. So, uh, did any of you have any other questions? About anything you were curious about what your opponent did? Uh, I mean, besides gender of the king drum, good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because that was a really good king drum. Yeah. Yeah. Queen that king drum was very solid. Queen drum. There we go. Very <laughs> good queen drum. I mean, that was an exciting match for me. Same for Great me. Great match to watch. Like, it was my first match in the tournament, I think, for you as well, or...? No, uh, I placed seventh last tournament. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like, it was my Fair first enough. tournament match overall, because... Ebony Zero yeah, had Ebony. to drop out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is unfortunate. Well, good luck on your other races, man. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck in uh, the next round. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that we're good. So, any final thoughts? Any, anything you want to say? Uh, I'm good. Screw the Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise. That Blastoise is a monster. <laughs> I love Blastoise. <laughs> and, I mean, that just reinforces yeah, running but, it for me. Yeah, the, the Paradox owns it all the time. But uh, this this is a play from, not one you want to run. <laughs> no. Well, I think we're good here. So I've been Technetium43. Our runners have been Paradoxical Remedy and Rasla. Go ahead and give them a follow and also throw a follow to our wonderful restreamer and to me if you so desire. Um, the Randomania 1 through 4, Randomania and Randomania 2 through 4 channels if you want. Rando action, either of Crystal or of any of the other many games they stream on here. And with that, I think we're good to sign off. All right. Have a good day, guys. See you guys later.